For nine consecutive years, London has been voted the best city in the world, but is that really true? London is where 10 million people call home and 200,000 new tourists visit each and every day. It's beaten the likes of Paris, New York and Tokyo for its significant mix of history, culture and famous sites. I love this city. Every tube stop, every park and every street share something completely different. You've got Knightsbridge, where Rolls Royces are more common than Volkswagens. And then we got the City of London, which is home to some of the world's biggest companies. But there's also a side of London that we are frankly just not talking about enough. Upon arriving to the big city, my first objective was to find something to do. However, London is the fourth most expensive city in the world. So we're going to see how many free things we can do, starting with the National History Museum. I bet he's got a massive... London is actually a really easy place to do on a budget. Free art gallery, I love free things. I don't love art that much, let's have a look. It's home to over 116 free art galleries and museums like this one, over 3,000 spacious parks. I've got to admit, this doesn't feel like London at all. It feels like we're in a different country. Honestly, it's, we're not in London. The greenery in London is so impressive. As well as even free panoramic views of London like this one that we went to at the Sky Garden. This might be the coolest, most best free thing we've done all day. So there's a Sky Garden obviously there with fantastic views, but here, 360 degree panoramic views with gardens as well. We've got the gardens and surrounded by just skyscrapers. Look at that. London Eye there, you can even see the Shard. Then you've got the view of the Tower Bridge. And then you got Canary Wharf. Three things to do on a budget, complete. Another reason why people want to come to London to live here is because of London being the world's most international and connected financial centre once again beating New York. With over 227,000 millionaires, London is a playground for the rich and famous who not only live here but travel overseas to show off their fortune. This set of flats is the most expensive set of flats in the entire of London, with some of the penthouses selling for almost 200 million pounds. Yeah, up there, right at the top, 200 million. The others are like 10, 20 million, not, not too much money. I could probably afford that, but I'm not a fan of the location, to be honest. Oh, McLaren. Uh, mm -hmm. The point of showing you all this is that everybody, including me, wants to come here for their best chance at building a successful career. But despite being one of the best financial cities, London was actually ranked the 45th most livable in the world. Why? Well, the average rent price here is now £2,121 per month, making it especially hard for the younger generation to move here. My next stop on my travel list was Brixton, an area that attracts lots of younger people due to its fantastic connection to the city, great culture and especially food. There is no avoiding the fact that Brixton is given a bad name by the media for being a dangerous area. I think you've got to take a lot of the information that you find online with a pinch of salt. I think Brixton has been known for its crime. I think you have to accept that. The amount it's changed is incredible. There's so much going on. The amount of culture that's in this place. Over the past 10 years, Brixton's property prices have increased by over 76%, where a two-bed house is now just below the average rental price at 2,000 a month. Now, most people, when they come to London, they think that the more expensive their rent is or the more they're paying, the less the crime rate. When I've been doing some research, I've discovered that that's really not the case. In fact, the area with the most crime in London is actually here in Westminster. There were over 100,000 crimes reported last year just here. And at first when I read this, I was really surprised. But now coming to think of it, yeah, I understand why. You wouldn't first think that one of the most famous and wealthiest parts of London was linked to bad crime rates. But with over 5 million tourists visiting every year, the sheer number of people makes it a hotspot for crimes like theft. In fact, other areas like Knightsbridge and Kensington are also ranked pretty high for their level of crime. See, that stat completely surprises me because if I'm in like Kensington or Knightsbridge or Mayfair, like some of the richest parts, to be honest, I feel kind of the most safe, but I guess that's because I'm not the people who's getting targeted. I think the crime rates here are so high because look, you've got, on one road, you've got Porsche, Land Rover, another Porsche, Ferrari right here, another Porsche. We've got Land Range Rovers, Range Rovers, millions just on this, sitting on this road. Here, the problem is it's got to the point where people aren't 
wearing their watches anymore. People aren't bringing their cars to London anymore. People think the cheapest areas in London are the most dangerous, where it's really not. Look at this. Everyone has got their like car completely locked up. It's a Range Rover. It's a Range Rover. It's a Range Rover. It's a Range Rover. Oh my giddy aunt. It's a fucking Range Rover. Not another one. It's another Range Rover. This is one of the most stolen cars in the UK. And one, two, three, four. If you're coming to nick things, it, this just is the place to be. As I was concluding my trip to London, I wanted to share some insight from people living here. Sorry, could I just ask you a couple questions for one of my videos? Okay, no problem, thank you. Can I just ask you a couple questions for one of my videos? Okay, no problem, thank you. Okay, this is not going well. I forgot London people are grumpy. So instead, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. There really is no place like London. It's one of the most unique cities in the entire world and one that I'm very blessed to have been to and worked in multiple times. The city welcomes 30 million people per year, so don't be surprised when you see crime rates rise. That being said, I have always felt pretty safe here. Of course, keep your wits about you but the media should never stop you from visiting the best city in the world.